welcome to our data bricks tutorial in this tutorial you are going to learn how can you transpose rows to column in PySpark I am using data bricks community edition which is totally free and you can utilize this web based services to learn python PySpark or Scala to run your ml ai models so guys please stay tuned with this video and have a lot of fun so in this video we are going to transpose rows to column so if you are working as a data engineer data scientist or data analytics in your career then it is your day-to-day -day activity to playing with big data and uh, you are going to do data cleansing data validations schema validations kind of stuff so first of all how can you do this like transpose rows to column so here first of all i am importing some pyspark libraries for example for spark session to create my spark session we need this library if you want to play with data columns in your data frame then you need call let some sub string round these are very common function which you can use in your data frame and then import reduce so using reduce for summing multiple columns if you have many columns to sum you can use the reduce function from fun tools to make it more concise so here in the next row you can see we are creating a spark session so here we are creating a spark variable and we are calling our spark session module and we from there we are calling builder then we are setting app name that is multiple columns so here we are going we are going to change it as a transpose pause columns columns okay then here uh, we are using a csv file if you want to see this then go to the catalog in catalog there is a dbfs that is databricks file system or you can say file storage and here you can see the different folder structure like tables demo sales in tables that is online retail dot csv so uh, i just copy this path and paste it over here then in the next row we are painting our file path now we have the data uh, file and we have our spark session is ready to use then in the next row we are loading this file data into our pyspark data frame so we are using our spark variable and then we are using read then csv here we are passing file path and then header equal to true or info schema equal to true then we are printing our data frame schema now you can see all the columns and their data types now we are going to display our data frame you can see here like this in your data frame you can see invoice number stock code description quantity invoice date unit price customer id and country okay in the next row we are going to create a new column that is sales amount sales amount is a compute column and it is equal to quantity into sales unit price then we are creating a another discount column and we are assigning a static value that is 5 then we are displaying our data frame here you can see we are using round function to round the calculated value till two decimal point you can see that uh, below of the invoice number there is a column sales amount and discount 
and you can see the value in, of the sales column after doing this uh, here we are selecting some columns to show you you can see invoice number stock code quantity invoice date unit price customer id sales amount and discount okay and then we are creating a new column year how can we get this column so we are getting from invoice date and we are using substring and then we are passing starting position saving then we are casting uh, this uh, column as a int then we are selecting our column now you can see the data having country invoice number stock code quantity invoice date unit price year sales amount discount so here you can see sales amount is a computed column here we are getting from the invoice date now what we are going to do we are creating a new data frame that is country sales by year and here we are using our we are using group by in our data frame and group by country then we are using pivot to transpose year that is here you can see these are the year column we are transpose year rows to column and we are assigning the value sales amount into year column and in the next row uh, first of all i am just going to comment this here in this data set you can see that we have some null values to treat these null values we are using na dot fill method then you to replace null value to zero now re execute this code here now you can see there is no null values please uh, like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel